masterclass number three is eye dominance. Paul, something very important, you need to work out what is your dominant eye before you start throwing. You really do, uh, because we're going to use the dominant eye as the, the aiming point. The start of the throw comes from the dominant eye. So we have to do a small test. So the way to do this is to hold a dart up in front of your eye like this. And if you close your right eye and that dart moves in your vision, that means you're right eye dominant. But if the dart does not move, it means that you are left eye dominant. So close the right eye, and if the dart moves in your vision, simple. You're right eye dominant. Over the years, there's some very famous players that are obviously right-handed, but left eye dominant. Phil Taylor being one of them, he used to bring it back slightly towards left of middle. He did, and uh, used it pretty effectively, didn't he? And the thing is, he knew that he was left eye dominant, and he used it to his advantage. Bobby George did uh, a great job of uh, being left eye dominant as well. The majority of right-handed dart players are right eye dominant and the majority of left handed players are left eye dominant but sometimes you get one that flips around it's really important that you know which one is you. I suppose one question that has to be addressed, what happens if you are cross eyed? It's a good uh, question, I've been asked that on social media recently and I don't know of any tests um, that would help a cross eyed player but um, those who are cross eyed out there and they want to get better at darts it's more about feel and if you look at someone like Jamie Caven, for instance, who um, is right eye dominant and doesn't have sight in his right eye, then it can still be done at a very effective level. So you may have to put in a few more hours practice. We're now gonna look at the address position now that you've got a solid stance and we've identified which dominant eye you have. So I'm right eye dominant and I'm gonna put my right foot forward. So with a nice solid stance here, and we've got our posture, over the, our right leg. So what we're gonna do now is address the dartboard with the right dominant eye. So the dart should come up towards that dominant eye, as you can see right here, but we're looking for something resembling this right angle. So the dart is roughly at the same height as your eye, and then your arm is roughly at this right angle here. So if you just practice doing that a couple of times by bringing the dart up from your left hip and just bringing it to that point there. You don't want to be too high, you don't want to be too low, but when we eventually throw the dart, we want to make sure that one thing doesn't move, and that is this, your right elbow. We want that to maintain height, and we don't want it to move left, right, up, or down. So when we address the dartboard, we do this, and then whatever happens next, that elbow does not move. <laughs> 